Gradients are really cute and in trend right now, so let's learn how to make one. Start off by picking some colors you like and just filling your canvas up. Don't worry about being neat or organized because it's all going to get blurred up anyway. Next, what you want to do is go to your magic wand icon and select Gaussian Blur. And you can slide your pen across the canvas to adjust the blur level. You can see the percentage indicated up there. And now I'm just going to make some text and I'm actually going to fill the text with the gradient. So what I want to do is put the gradient layer above the text and then make it a clipping mask. And then I can use my arrow to go in and adjust which part of the gradient is shown. Here's another quick tip for Procreate. Say if I have a text layer and I want to fit this text layer within an outline, I will go into the text layer, click rasterize, and now I can move it freely. Go into uniform to make it a bit smaller to make it easier. Then I go into warp and with each of the points on the corner, you can literally drag it to however you want it to fit within your outline, like that. Here is another quick tip in Procreate. If I'm happy with the image I've drawn, but I'm unhappy with the colors of the image, I will go into adjustments, click hue, saturation, and brightness, and adjust the colors in there. If I'm unhappy with the way I've adjusted it, I will tap on the screen and click reset, and it'll send it back to normal. Why waste time jumping between windows like this, when you can use the iPad split screen function to show your windows side by side? To do that, just drag up the toolbar, hold your finger down on the app, then drag the window to one side. Adjust the windows to the size you need. This is a great way to reference your mood boards when drawing. Swipe to the side to close the window. Got questions about Procreate? Comment below. You're so golden. You're so golden. Let's add beautiful grain texture to your artwork in Procreate in four easy steps. Make a new layer on top of all of your layers. Fill it with 50% gray. In the adjustments panel, click noise and adjust with how much noise you want to add. Change the blending mode to soft light. Now you have beautiful grain texture on your artwork. Follow for more Procreate tips. Back with procreate tip number two on clipping masks this should help you fill your text or drawing space with colors and textures much easier and quicker i have some text here that i want to make rainbow first you want to make a new layer on top and draw whatever colors or effects you want over your text after you finish you want to click on your new layer and select clipping mask and then merge the layers together there you go you have some rainbow text you can also apply the same process with pictures you put your picture on a new layer and select clipping mask and then merge the layers together let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to show you how I like to put text around a circle in Procreate. First, I'm going to center the circle that I drew, and I'm going to increase my grid size on the drawing guide so that I can actually center it on the page, and the bigger guides help do that. So I'm adding my text. It'll be easier in all caps. Um, I'm rasterizing the text layer, and then I hide the initial text layer. I'm going to select each letter and adjust it by rotating it and moving it down. The goal is to have an even amount of space under the baseline of the letters and um, the circle that you drew. So once that's all done, you can take away the circle and add more text for fun. So I hope that this tip helped. Here's how to make a basic drop shadow brush in Procreate. Start with a blank square canvas and drop pure black onto it. Then with a pure white brush, draw a perfect circle on the top right side of the screen, color drop to fill it in, and then take a medium gray tone and draw a second circle on the bottom left. Extend that, that way the two circles just kind of barely touch in the center, and color drop to fill that one in as well. Swipe down with three fingers and hit copy. Go to the brush menu. Hit the plus to add a new brush. Shape. Shape source. Import. Paste. Hit done. Then go to rendering. Change it to light glaze. Apple pencil. Decrease the opacity. 
and you end up with a brush like this. Here's an easy way to weave your lettering with illustrations. It can be as easy as getting this french fry to weave in and out of this letter. First, go to the layer that will be overlapped and create a layer mask. Now, you paint on that mask. Remember, black paint hides or erases and white reveals or adds back in. Here, you would use black to mask out part of this letter to reveal the french fry and now it is weaving in and out of the W. Comment below what you'd like to see next. Three of my favorite Procreate tools. One, if you need to make a selection with straight edges, you can click the freehand option and just tap to make straight lines for your selection. Two, sliding right to select multiple layers. Now I'm able to move them all together or make a selection and move a small part of all of these layers. Three, reference panel. I like to put my color reference in this panel so it's easy to choose my colors. What are some of your favorite tools? Follow me for more art related content. Hey guys, I have a super helpful Procreate tip for you today and this one is on color harmony. If you're like me and find it really hard to find complementary colors on your own without color palettes, this will help you. So you wanna go into your color palettes and you wanna go down to Harmony like I did there. And here you can pick a color that you like and the other circle will automatically go to another color that complements it. And under colors, you can change the complementary amount. So you can do four complementary colors or three complementary colors. I found this so helpful and a really awesome feature on Procreate. Like and follow me for more Procreate tips. How to make a stamp in Procreate. Start with a blank square canvas and drop pure black onto it. Then take a pure white brush and draw your design. For today, I'm gonna to use the Monstera leaf that I drew earlier. So swipe down with three fingers to open the copy paste menu, hit copy. Go to your brush menu, add a new brush, go to shape, source, import, paste, hit done, stroke path, increase the spacing all the way up, apple pencil, decrease the opacity all the way down, properties, increase the maximum size, and that's it. Now let's test this out. There you have it. So this Procreate tip totally blew my mind. This is a new way of getting color palettes while you're in Procreate. So first what you want to do is swipe up on your iPad dashboard and drag Safari onto your Procreate canvas. From there, you can Google any image that you want the colors from. Pick your image and press and drag the image over onto your palette screen. This takes all the colors from the image and puts it into one palette for you. I found this to be a super helpful tip and I figure it will help you guys out a lot. Got a lot of separate areas to color? Try this. The recolor tool in Procreate is back. First, make sure your app is up to date and set your reference layer. Then when you drop in a color, this bar will appear. Click on that to bring up the crossbar, then drag it to where you want the colors to fill. Adjust the flood level as needed and tap away. For more Procreate tricks, follow me. If you've been working on your art and want to use the last color, usually you can just eye drop. But sometimes it's in an area that's hard to eye drop or it's on a layer mode like multiply. Here's what to do. Staying on the brush tool, hold down on the color circle and it will switch to the previous color. Like and follow for more Procreate tricks. Are you tired of having to move your reference photo whilst drawing? I know I was. I mean look how annoying this is. Having to select the image each time to move it and shrink it. What a pain in the cow balls. If I had cow balls. Moo moo moo. Well ladies and gentlefish, I have a tip for you. 
go to the spanner icon and go to canvas. Then hit reference. A little box will appear. Go to image. Import image. Select your image. And bing bang bosh. You've got yourself a fine looking duck. You can now move around and resize this reference without accidentally drawing on it. Now pay up. This tutorial wasn't free. Ever try to fill in your line work only for it to flood? How frustrating and time consuming is that? Here's the fix. When you color drop, hold your pencil down to pull up the color threshold here. Then drag your pencil to the left to turn down the percentage. No more flooding. What other struggles in this app do you have? Share in the comments. Hey guys, this is how you can create a perfect border for your stickers in Procreate. First, duplicate the layer and then apply an alpha lock. Fill that layer with a white color, then take off alpha lock and duplicate that layer. Then you want to apply a Gaussian blur of about 10 points to that layer. And then merge those two layers together, put your sticker on top, press select, make sure automatic is on and draw your border. And then fill it in with a white color. And that's it. This tip really blew people's minds, so I wanted to show it again for anyone that missed it. So have you ever been in Procreate and you try and make something larger, but then when you do this and zoom in, you realize you just made your artwork completely pixelated? This is something that I struggled with for a few months, and it's definitely a frustrating problem, but there is a solution. Under your arrow, select that circle that says nearest neighbor and change it to by cubic. Now when you make things larger and move it around the canvas, you're not going to see as much pixelation. It might have like a slight blur to it, but I still think it's a lot better than how it was before. Side note, sorry for that line down my screen, it's a problem with my iPad. Have a holly jolly Christmas, it's the best time of the year. Now I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know, and everyone you meet Oh, the mistletoe is hung where you